We got beers. It's that time of year. Tanks are out, guns are out. Show them the guns. Mike. What? Oh, it's hard to wear a mic in a bro tank. Sounds that hard. So I got the bro tank out for the occasion. We got beers. Nine of them. And we're just going to drink them all as fast as we can and see what happens. That would be sickening. You can drink beers way faster than me. Yeah, that's true. I'm really just... She's a beer well athlete. versed in beers, not like a heavy beer. I a could pound beer. this way quicker than he could pound this. Than he could pound True. this. True, I can't pound beers. He's very sensitive in the throat. <laughs> so we got nine beers here. We're breaking down the carbs, and the main metric we're trying to track is carbs to drunkenness. If you're interested in that, you don't okay. have to be. Of course, you're interested. So pause right now. Comment below which one's getting you drunker off of the least carbs. Let us know. Now you're back. What do you think? Middle light. Okay, I already crunched the numbers, so I know. What'd you think though? My thinking going in was like one of these like tall boy type ones, like natural light, bush ice, like keystone light. I guess I didn't really pick one. Okay. I was gonna go natural light. Okay, no one says natural light. Natty light. Natty. We're gonna tell you the carbs in each one of these. The percentage of alcohol. And what you really wanna know is how those two synergize to get you drunk without getting you carbed. Get you where you want to be. Get you where you want to be. Not everyone wants to get drunk. Yeah, so the metric I'm shooting for is three glasses of wine. That gets me to where I want to be. Two gets me probably where I want to be. Okay, so we're trying to achieve that alcohol content with these beers and then figuring the carb count to get you there. Basically, the takeaway is going to be how many carbs of this beer does it take to get me to where I want to go? Let's start. What do you want to start with? You pick. Let's just go down the line. Coors. Okay. Coors, Coors is my right. dad's favorite. Shout out, dad. Shout out, dad. Dr. Barrett. Dr. Barrett. Let me just set up a pour shot. Also, we're not sure about the YouTube rules. Can we do this like this? I've seen a lot of beer YouTubers. They, they just pour. show them like this? Yeah, and he even like poured out and he talked about the head and the protein and the color. Okay. So weak. Look how light that is. You're pouring the whole glass? Don't we have to drink it now to get to the next one? Or are you just oh, going to dump it out? I was going to dump it out. Okay. I thought you were just going to pour a little bit. So this is a 24-ouncer. With all these, we're talking 12 ounces, right? 12 ounces of Coors Light It's going to run you five carbs. Pretty high. It clocks in with the standard. All of the like big-name light beers are all 4.2% alcohol by volume on the low end of the spectrum. To get where you wanna go off Coors Light, you're gonna need 15.5 grams of carbs worth. And you think off of wine, you need like under 10, around 10, right? Yeah. No, you need less, no, you need way like less. six Like eight. six. Yeah. Okay, so let's give this a try. And I have not had beer in like... So what are we doing now? Are we just gonna talk about the flavor profile? Flavor profile? Yeah, like are we gonna discuss the flavor profile of like Coors Light compared to Bush Ice compared to... Yeah, like what t generally tastes better. <laughs> okay. I know what I used to think it tastes like. I wonder if it still tastes really the same. Really kind of sweet. Sweeter than I remember. It smells exactly like I remember. Oh. Did we get sweet Coors Light? It's pretty sweet, isn't it? Yeah. So my memories of Coors Light is it just tastes very like metallic, mm -hmm. like aluminum. And I never drank it, but now, now I'm like in... It's light. It's sweet. It's not bad. I could sip on that for a while. I could just chug the whole thing right now. That too. Maybe I'll just pour smaller amounts. You're right. Doesn't know what he's doing. Bush ice. Bush ice. Bice. So. I was going to say that. Now, what's the deal with ice? What happens when, why do they call beer as ice? Does that designate something? I don't know, because there's butt ice too. Natty ice. Nice. Doing baby pours from now on. A 12 ounce. 4.2 carbs, 5.9% alcohol. So that's pretty good. That's higher. I'm into that. It's lower carbs, higher alcohol. Give me some of that. Now, what's the taste like? I don't know if I've ever had this. I've never had bush ice in my life. It's weird that we're including bush ice. Like, who does bush ice? We didn't even do Budweiser. That's like America's beer. Man, I really forgot how much I like beer, kind of. This is really tasting good. It leaves a beer taste in your mouth. I like it though. This one also tasted good. Tastes very similar. Not mm. as sweet. Not as sweet, not as watery. It, it's like, it hits you and then it's just gone. Yeah. Like, it's watery to me. It disappears. Yeah, it's, it's very watery. 
Where did it go? So it's iced down with water. So bush ice, total carb consumption for you? Uh -huh. 9.3 carbs to get you where you want to go. That that's, is workable. That's totally workable. Workable and a half. There's days I eat 10 net carbs anyway. Yeah, this? Happening. This is in play, guys. Bush ice. Bush ice is in play if, if you can find it. If this is your favorite beer, you know. You oh, just... you're getting 25 ounces of this stuff too. Ooh. It's going to take me 13.9 carbs. That's fine too. I can work that in. Yeah. Especially maybe like, we should maybe buy some of this stuff. Just like have a nightcap of this once in a while. I'd rather have a nightcap of wine or liquor. Me too. But you do you, boo. You get your bush ice on. Okay, so a 12 ounce can oh, of Natty Light. That leaves us at... 3.2 net carbs. 3.2 net carbs for a can of this? I, this is was like what the kegs we would get, right, in college? You yeah. always get Natty Light. I never really got Natty Light. Oh, you guys didn't get like keg parties? I didn't really drink that much, mm. but, but I feel like it was like PBR. You really hit the jackpot with me. Why, because you drink a lot? I was just cool. I'm yeah. cool. 3.2 net carbs, 4.2 alcohol percentage. Classic light beer. This is going to take you 9.9 .9 carbs worth. Still workable, but Bush Ice still wins. It's going to take me 14.7 carbs worth. So this is also in play. Definitely in play. So it seems like these tall, like cheap guys here that are giving you the extra ounce that you can pretty much only buy in tall boy form, at least Bush Ice, right? That I've seen. Yeah. These you can work in. Not bad. So let's see which one tastes better now, Natty Light or Bush Ice. On three we say it. One, one two, two, three. three. Natty, Natty Light. Ice Light. <laughs> you like them both. She's drunk. So yeah, natural light's happening. Natural light's not bad. So these two so far are definitely, we're putting in the drink them category. <laughs> drink them now. We're getting down to the business. Keystone oh. Light. Keystone Light's also very gross in my mind. So Keystone Light is five carbs per 12 ounces, 4.13% alcohol. Ugh, that's the worst. Total carb consumption for Mega on this guy is going to be 15.7. For me, it's going to be 23.6. So that's over my daily net carbs if I want to get drunk off this. Get where he wants to be. I think drunk is not a good term to use, but I can't, I don't want to just keep on saying get where you want to be. Like, Why? I don't know. Maybe Sounds that weird. could be like the motivational title, but then it's like, oh, it's a beer video. Get where you want to be. Get where you want to be, guys. So Keystone Light, not really in play for me. Not really in Unless play. Unless it tastes like chocolate milk. Yeah, then it's then in it play. Could be worked in. This is this is actually I didn't think I would have like a trigger food. No offense to people who have trigger foods. I'm getting triggered right now. I just want to oh, play beer. some pong. I want to get You love beer games more than anyone else. We'll just be having like a relaxing <laughs> night with like two people over and it's like she's like, "You guys want to play the beer pong?" You, she, she's really into like this picking up the bag game. Yeah. Where you Squatting. have to do a one-legged squat and you're holding a beer or a drink at the same time yeah. or flip cup. I'm just like one-on-one -on -one flip cup all day. Yeah, so I played flip cup with her. This is like when we first started dating. Played flip cup I'm with her. I'm the anchor a few champ. Times. See that? There it goes. I played flip cup with her a few times, and she's like, she's like not that good. She's like totally average, I'm maybe really even good. maybe below average. And then we, she comes over, plays with my friends. She walks in, and she's like, flip cup queens in the building. Who wants no, to be on my? I'm not a queen. I'm a king. King. You did say king. I'm flip cup king over here. And I'm like, when did you become the flip cup king? We played yesterday, and you were like. Slightly no. below average. I'm I'm clutch in the anchor position. <laughs> no, I perform. You said, are not that great. Said D from Sunny in Philadelphia. I mean, these beers are all the exact same thing in different bottles. That's even that's the most watery. So it's like the most tolerable because I'm just drinking water. Bud Light, classic one. This is maybe the most classic. You Botulism. Can get. The thing though, sneaky high carbs, seven carbs in this puppy. Clearly, just based on that, you can already tell, not gonna work for keto really. For me, you're talking 32 grams of carbs. For Mega, it's gonna take 21.7, which is very, very high as well. Bud Light's the best. It is good. I think that's the best tasting one so far. Yeah, it's crisp. Yeah. Right? And it has the most beer taste as well. Very crisp. I would, that's a good word to describe it. Thank you. So PBR up next. This is Philadelphia in a nutshell. It in is. A, in a beer can. PBR is, oh, it's Milwaukee. 
but it should say established in Philadelphia. Yeah, this is for bros. Hipsters. Actually, hipsters, bros. Grunge. Pretty much everyone. Basement. Yeah. The thing about this, this is not the light. This is just normal PBR. We're just trying to give you like a diverse array of what's possible. And what um, you'll find. Per 12 ounces, 12 carbs. That's the highest one so far. 4.74% alcohol, so a little higher, but not much. No, no way. This one is clearly a bad proposition. I'm in the neighborhood of 50 carbs a night for this, if you want to. And that's only three glasses of wine equaled. Yeah. Which is like nothing. If I'm going to drink beers, I'm not drinking just three glasses of wine worth. Yes. For two glasses of wine worth for Mega, 32 carbs. No. That's the worst beer we've tried yet. Nah. -uh. Yeah. It's the best. I don't like it at all. I love it. Wow, I forgot how much I love PBRs. It's like um, some bars have like a dollar PBR and a shot of Jameson. Every bar. That's the best. Miller Lite. So this is the one I thought would be the lowest for the most. So this is 3.2 net carbs per 12 ounces, 4.2% alcohol. So this is, seems to be pretty good. To equal three glasses of wine, 14.7 net carbs. Working it. For Mega? 9.9. .9. So Miller Lite? In game. You're in the game, buddy. I'll put a little more just because you're in the game. Not sweet. The least sweet, I think. Yeah, like the most bitter, but it's not bitter. It's not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite either. This one's in the ball game, though. So... Get that boy a hot dog. So now this is one that I know all of the, like, keto... People like Love keto it. forums, they're all about the Michelob Ultra. So that's kind of what I wanted to put to the test. Is it actually a lot lower carb than other beers? What are you doing? Use that. This? Yeah. Like this? Yes. Wow. Someone really Oh, not it's a twist cool. off. Michelob Ultra markets itself as a low carb beer, of course. 2.6 carbs. It's also very low calorie, 95 calories. 4.2% alcohol. Wow, okay. I'm impressed. To equal three glasses of wine, for me, you're only looking at 12 carbs. So Fantastic. not significantly more than wine. So you can base this is in play, big time, highly in play. If like, yeah, we want to play some beer games. For you, eight net carbs. My new diet has just begun. It's called Michelob Ultra Diet. All these beers taste the exact same. This one actually tastes relatively good. I've never had Michelob Ultra before. I don't like it. It's not that good. It's not good at all. I'm not drinking that for eight carbs. None of these are that good. We'll go into which one we like the best at the end. Finally. Just to show you guys what like craft beers would come out to be. Not that Sierra Nevada is really crafty, but it's like a, a nice beer. It's a fake craft. I'm not a fan of Sierra Nevada's. Me neither. It's very summertime, warm weather to me. Like all my friends, when we're like at the beach and stuff, you get Sierra, Sierra Nevada. Yeah, it's like when, you're, when your 18-year-old sister wants to like act like she's drinking craft beers. Not that you can drink when you're 18, but she's drinking Sierra Nevada. This one actually is on the lower end of the spectrum for craft beers too. What are we looking at carb-wise? You're looking at 14.6 carbs per 12, 12 ounces, ounces, and that's on the lower end for craft beers. So on average, I'd say 18 range. A lot of them are like 20 plus. 20 plus, yeah. yeah. We'd, we'd been drinking just like 20 plus carb beers only. I was having 150 carb nights on the reg. It's only 5.6% alcohol. So this is going to take 50 grams of carbs to equal three glasses of wine. Okay. And it is going to take 34 grams of carbs to equal two. And such a different color. But the taste is phenomenal. Compared to these, it's night and day. I don't like Sierra Nevada. It is night and day. You actually get flavors. You're picking up nuances. Wow. In it. I forgot what a pale ale tastes like. Yeah. The hoppiness. I, I'm like, if we ever started drinking beer again for some reason, I feel like I would enjoy the hoppiness. I used to hate hoppy flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm into it. But I'm not into it for like 30 plus carbs. And then there's just a few others I wanted to note we couldn't find. <sighs> Well, actually, only one that I really want to know. Bud Select 55. That's also marketed as low carb. And it's just a joke. 1.9 carbs, 2.4% alcohol, guys. 2.4%. You can't even keep up with the water intake because it's just like... You're such drinking a, water. You're drinking water. I mean, it's a starter. It's like, okay, I'm 13. Let me get some Bud Select 55. Yeah. Just kidding. Don't drink when just you're 13. Just kidding. No. <laughs> so it's actually like worse than a lot of these. Any of the ones that so far that we've said are like pretty good options, it's worse than that when you actually extrapolate it. And in our Facebook group, 
or like like just online keto places, I've seen people just get like cases of Bud Select 55. I mean, if you want volume, it's good. But if you actually- Who wants volume? No one. Uh, to equal three glasses of wine worth of Bud Select 55, it's 15.4 grams of carbs for me, 10.1 for you to equal two glasses of wine. You can drink it, obviously, like it's fine, but mm -hmm. there's better options. Absolutely. It's just kind of deceptively marketed, in my opinion, where it's like low carb, low calorie, but actually, for the alcohol you're getting, it's not that low. They're not carb. saying low percentage alcohol though. No. Which is also true. There's a couple recommendations I want to give you guys if you're like diehard craft beer fans. Um, there's some craft beers that are definitely workable, and the best one probably. I did a little bit of research. Maybe you guys have some info you can post below so other people can read comments and like get some ideas. Bell's Two Hearted IPA, made in Michigan, I'm pretty sure. Represent. They have uh, the beer is actually really good. Bell's Two Hearted IPA. Had it multiple times. Nine grams of carbs per 12 ounces, so pretty high. Mm -hmm. But you're getting 7% alcohol. You're getting where you want to be quick. Yeah, so two glasses of wine worth of that is 17 carbs. Three glasses of wine worth for me is 25. So, you know, you can like have one, have two. But yeah, so if you're like a diehard craft beer fan, that's a good option. And then I really did some digging. I haven't heard of this one before, but people seem to be able to get it. It's Flying Dog... Kerberos Tripel. Oh, I have heard of this You've heard one. heard of that? Yeah. Okay. So this one is actually a really good bang for your buck. It's 8.6 net carbs, 8.3% alcohol. To equal two glasses of wine, it's only 13.5 carbs. Nice. You can drink craft beer. If you can find this one, you can actually drink craft beer, and it's basically like same carbs as wine, a little bit higher. So that's it, guys. These are all the beers. Um, the ones that I would be comfortable drinking, Miller Lite. Yep. Bush. Bush Natural Light. Yeah. Natty Light. And Bush Ice. Bush Ice. Michelob Ultra. Yeah, Michelob Ultra just tastes like butt butt. Yeah. So these four are really the big winners. They're a pretty substantial margin ahead of the rest, just carb-wise. What was your favorite tasting one? Miller Lite. Mine is Natural Light. Yeah, it was either those two, because I know Bush Ice literally tastes watered down. Like oh, I like that. These two are my top two. Okay. All right, that, that's it, guys. That's keto beers, guys. Uh, in regards to wine, we always get questions about what kind of wine we drink. We go for Pinot Grigio or Sauvignon Blanc for white, and then for reds, we do uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Pinot Noir. Or Pinot Noir. So those are our four go-tos. Not too dry at all, but not sweet by any means. A lot of the time, I'll just look it up on my phone, like carb count in this particular wine, and try finding it, because it can be pretty deceptive. Some of them are really sweet, and they have a lot of sugar. Yeah. Most dry wines are around the same, like three to five carbs per glass range. Yep. Let us know what beers are on your menu other than these four. Or if you're really mad at us for doing a beer video. Beer's not keto! Mm -hmm.